a rouleau triangle, E angstrom low is a shape formed from the intersection of three circular disks, each having its center on the boundary of the other two. It is a curve of constant width, the simplest and best known such curve other than the circle itself. Constant width means that the separation of every two parallel supporting lines is the same, independent of their orientation. Because all its diameters are the same, the rouleau triangle is one answer to the question other than a circle, what shape can a manhole cover be made so that it cannot fall down through the hole? Rouleau triangles have also been called spherical triangles, but the term more properly refers to triangles on the curved surface of a sphere. The name of rouleau triangles derives from Franz Rouleau, a 19th century German engineer who pioneered the study of machines for translating one type of motion into another and who used rouleau triangles in his designs. However, these shapes were known before his time, for instance by the designers of Gothic church windows, by Leonardo da Vinci, who used it for a map projection, and by Leonhard Euler in his study of constant width shapes. Other applications of the rouleau triangle include giving the shape to guitar picks, pencils, and drill bits for drilling square holes as well as in graphic design in the shapes of some signs and corporate logos. Among constant width shapes with a given width, the rouleau triangle has the minimum area and the sharpest possible angle at its corners. By several numerical measures it is the farthest from being centrally symmetric. It provides the largest constant width shape avoiding the points of an integer lattice, and is closely related to the shape of the quadrilateral maximizing the ratio of perimeter to diameter. It can perform a complete rotation within a square while at all times touching all four sides of the square, and has the smallest possible area of shapes with this property. However, although it covers most of the square in this rotation process, it fails to cover a small fraction of the square's area, near its corners. Because of this property of rotating within a square, the rouleau triangle is also sometimes known as the rouleau rotor. The rouleau triangle is the first of a sequence of rouleau polygons, curves of constant width formed from regular polygons with an odd number of sides. Some of these curves have been used as the shapes of coins. The rouleau triangle can also be generalized into three dimensions in multiple ways. The rouleau tetrahedron does not have constant width, but can be modified by rounding its edges to form the Meissner tetrahedron, which does. Alternatively, the surface of revolution of the rouleau triangle also has constant width. Construction The rouleau triangle may be constructed either directly from three circles, or by rounding the sides of an equilateral triangle. The three circle construction may be performed with a compass alone, not even needing a stretch. By the Mora Euro Mascaroni theorem, the same is true more generally of any compass and stretch construction. But the construction for the rouleau triangle is particularly simple. First, use the compass to draw a circle, or a large enough circular arc. Next, keeping the compass's width fixed, place the point of the compass on the circle or arc, and draw a second circle or arc passing through the center of the first one. Finally, with the point of the compass at one of the two crossing points of these two circles, draw a third circle or arc with the same radius through the centers of the first two circles. The central region in the resulting arrangement of three circles will be a rouleau triangle. Alternatively, construct an equilateral triangle T. Then, draw three arcs of circles, each centered at one vertex of T and connecting the other two vertices. Or, equivalently, intersect three disks centered at the vertices of T, with radius equal to the side length of T. Mathematical properties The most basic property of the rouleau triangle is that it is constant width, meaning that every pair of parallel supporting lines has the same separation from each other, regardless of the orientation of these lines. In any pair of parallel supporting lines, one of the two lines will necessarily touch the triangle at one of its vertices. The other supporting line may touch the triangle at any point on the opposite arc, and their separation equals the radius of this arc. The first mathematician to discover the existence of curves of constant width, and to observe that the rouleau triangle has constant width, may have been Leonhard Euler. In a paper that he presented in 1771 and published in 1781 entitled De Curvis Triangularibus, Euler studied curvilinear triangles as well as the curves of constant width, 
which he called orbiforms. Equals extremal measures equals, by many different measures, the Rouleau triangle is one of the most extreme curves of constant width. By the Blaschke Euro Liebsk theorem, the Rouleau triangle has the smallest possible area of any curve of given constant width. This area is where s is the constant width. One method for deriving this area formula is to partition the Rouleau triangle into an inner equilateral triangle and three curvilinear regions between this inner triangle and the arcs forming the Rouleau triangle, and then add the areas of these four sets. At the other extreme, the curve of constant width that has the maximum possible area is a circular disk, which has area. The angles made by each pair of arcs at the corners of a Rouleau triangle are all equal to 120 a degree. This is the sharpest possible angle at any vertex of any curve of constant width. Additionally, among the curves of constant width, the Rouleau triangle is the one with both the largest and the smallest inscribed equilateral triangles. The largest equilateral triangle inscribed in a Rouleau triangle is the one connecting its three corners, and the smallest one is the one connecting the three midpoints of its sides. The subset of the Rouleau triangle consisting of points belonging to three or more diameters is the interior of the larger of these two triangles. It has a larger area than the set of three diameter points of any other curve of constant width. Although the Rouleau triangle has sixfold dihedral symmetry, the same as an equilateral triangle, it does not have central symmetry. The Rouleau triangle is the least symmetric curve of constant width according to two different measures of central asymmetry, the Kagnera Euro Bisakovich measure and the Esterman measure. For the Rouleau triangle, the two centrally symmetric shapes that determine the measures of asymmetry are both hexagonal, although the inner one has curved sides. The Rouleau triangle has diameters that split its area more unevenly than any other curve of constant width. That is, the maximum ratio of areas on either side of a diameters, another measure of asymmetry, is bigger for the Rouleau triangle than for other curves of constant width. Among all shapes of constant width that avoid all points of an integer lattice, the one with the largest width is a Rouleau triangle. It has one of its axes of symmetry parallel to the coordinate axis on a half integer line. Its width, approximately 1.545, is the root of a degree 6 polynomial with integer coefficients. Just as it is possible for a circle to be surrounded by six congruent circles that touch it, it is also possible to arrange seven congruent Rouleau triangles so that they all make contact with a central Rouleau triangle of the same size. This is the maximum number possible for any curve of constant width. Among all quadrilaterals, the shape that has the greatest ratio of its perimeter to its diameter is an equidiagonal kite that can be inscribed into a Rouleau triangle equals other measures equals, by Barbier's theorem all curves of constant width including the Rouleau triangle have equal perimeter. In particular this perimeter equals the perimeter of the circle with the same width, which is the radii of the largest inscribed circle of a Rouleau triangle with width s, and of the circumscribed circle of the same triangle, r, and, respectively. The sum of these radii equals the width of the Rouleau triangle. More generally, for every curve of constant width, the largest inscribed circle and the smallest circumscribed circle are concentric, and their radii sum to the constant width of the curve. The optimal packing density of the Rouleau triangle in the plane remains unproven, but is conjectured to be, which is the density of one possible double lattice packing for these shapes. The best proven upper bound on the packing density is approximately 0.947275. It has also been conjectured, but not proven, that the Rouleau triangles have the highest packing density of any curve of constant width. Equals rotation within a square equals. Any curve of constant width can form a rotor within a square, a shape that can perform a complete rotation while staying within the square and at all times touching all four sides of the square. However, the Rouleau triangle is the rotor with the minimum possible area. As it rotates, its axis does not stay fixed at a single point, but instead follows a curve formed by the pieces of four ellipses. Because of its 120 degree angles, the rotating Rouleau triangle cannot reach some points near the sharper angles at the square's vertices, but rather covers a shape with slightly rounded corners, also formed by elliptical arcs. 
at any point during this rotation, two of the corners of the rouleau triangle touch two adjacent sides of the square, while the third corner of the triangle traces out a curve near the opposite vertex of the square. The shape traced out by the rotating rouleau triangle covers approximately 98.77% of the area of the square. Equals as a counterexample equals, Rouleau's original motivation for studying the Rouleau triangle was as a counterexample, showing that three single point contacts may not be enough to fix a planar object into a single position. The existence of Rouleau polygons shows that diameter measurements alone cannot verify that an object has a circular cross section. Overlooking this fact may have played a role in the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster as the roundness of sections of the rocket in that launch was tested only by measuring different diameters, and off-round shapes may cause unusually high stresses that could have been one of the factors causing the disaster. In connection with the inscribed square problem, Eggleston observed that the Rouleau triangle provides an example of a constant width shape in which no regular polygon with more than four sides can be inscribed, except the regular hexagon and he described a small modification to this shape that preserves its constant width but also prevents regular hexagons from being inscribed in it. He generalized this result to three dimensions using a cylinder with the same shape as its cross-section. Applications equals Reaching into corners equals, several types of machinery take the shape of the Rouleau triangle, based on its property of being able to rotate within a square. The Watts Brothers Tool Works square drill bit has the shape of a rouleau triangle, modified with concavities to form cutting surfaces. When mounted in a special chuck which allows for the bit not having a fixed center of rotation, it can drill a hole that is nearly square. The Harry Watt square is often used in mortising. Although patented by Henry Watts in 1914, similar drills invented by others were used earlier. Other rouleau polygons are used to drill pentagonal hexagonal, and octagonal holes. Panasonic Robotic Vacuum Cleaner or ULO has its shape based on the Rouleau Triangle in order to ease cleaning up dust in the corners of rooms. Equals Rolling Cylinders equals, another class of applications of the Rouleau Triangle involve cylindrical objects with a Rouleau Triangle cross-section. Several pencils are manufactured in this shape, rather than the more traditional round or hexagonal barrels. They are usually promoted as being more comfortable or encouraging proper grip, as well as being less likely to roll off tables. A rouleau triangle can roll but makes a poor wheel because it does not roll about a fixed center of rotation. An object on top of rollers with cross sections at were rouleau triangles would roll smoothly and flatly, but an axle attached to rouleau triangle wheels would bounce up and down three times per revolution. This concept was used in a science fiction short story by Poole Anderson titled Three Cornered Wheel. A bicycle with floating axles and a frame supported by the rim of its rouleau triangle shaped wheel was built and demonstrated in 2009 by Chinese inventor Guan Banya Yue, who was inspired by pencils with the same shape. Equals mechanism design equals, another class of applications of the rouleau triangle involves using it as a part of a mechanical linkage that can convert rotation around a fixed axis into reciprocating motion. These mechanisms were studied by Franz Rouleau. With the assistance of the Gustave Voigt company, Rouleau built approximately 800 models of mechanisms, several of which involved the rouleau triangle. Rouleau used these models in his pioneering scientific investigations of their motion. Although most of the Rouleau or Eurovoid models have been lost, 219 of them have been collected at Cornell University, including nine based on the Rouleau triangle. However, the use of Rouleau triangles in mechanism design predates the work of Rouleau. For instance, some steam engines from as early as 1830 had a cam in the shape of a Rouleau triangle. One application of this principle arises in a film projector. In this application, is necessary to advance the film in a jerky, stepwise motion, in which each frame of film stops for a fraction of a second in front of the projector lens, and then much more quickly the film is moved to the next frame. This can be done using a mechanism in which the rotation of a rouleau triangle within a square is used to create a motion pattern for an actuator that pulls the film quickly to each new frame and then pauses the film's motion while the frame is projected. The rotor of the Wankel engine is shaped as a curvilinear triangle that is often cited as an example of a rouleau triangle. However, 
its curved sides are somewhat flatter than those of a rouleau triangle and so it does not have constant width. Equals architecture equals, in Gothic architecture, beginning in the late 13th century or early 14th century, the rouleau triangle became one of several curvilinear forms frequently used for windows, window tracery, and other architectural decorations. For instance, in English Gothic architecture, this shape was associated with the decorated period, both in its geometric style of 1250 Euro 1290 and continuing into its curvilinear style of 1290 Euro 1350. In this context, the shape is more frequently called a spherical triangle, but the term should be distinguished from the more usual mathematical meaning of the same phrase, a triangle on the surface of a sphere. In its use in Gothic church architecture, the three-cornered shape of the rouleau triangle may be seen both as a symbol of the trinity, and as an act of opposition to the form of the circle. The rouleau triangle has also been used in other styles of architecture. For instance, Leonardo da Vinci sketched this shape as the plan for a fortification. A modern high-rise building, the Car Paragraph Long Triangle in Cologne, Germany, was built with a rouleau triangle cross-section. Together with the circular shape of its core, this gives varied depths to the rooms of the building. Equals map making equals, another early application of the rouleau triangle, by Leonardo da Vinci circa 1514, was a world map in which the spherical surface of the earth was divided into eight octants, each flattened into the shape of a rouleau triangle. Similar maps also based on the rouleau triangle were published by Arons Finer copyright in 1551 and by John Dee in 1580. Equals other objects equals. Many guitar picks employ the rouleau triangle, as its unique shape combines a sharp point to provide strong articulation, with a wide tip to produce a warm timbre. Many players find the shape ergonomic, since it naturally tends to point in the proper direction. Its three equal tips also prevent wear and extend lifespan, as compared to the single tip of a pick shaped like an isosceles triangle. The rouleau triangle has also been suggested as the shape of a reflecting mirror for space missions. The resulting mirror shape is said to have good optical properties while also being more easily folded for transport than a more conventional circular mirror. Equals signs and logos equals, the shape is used for signage for the national trail system administered by the United States National Park Service, and for the logo of Colorado School of Mines. The corporate logo of Petrofina a Belgian oil company with major operations in Europe, North America and Africa, used a rouleau triangle with the finer name from 1950 until Petrofina's merger with Total SA in 2000. Alien USA acquired the American Petrofina operation spun off by Total in 2006, and continues to use a rotated version of Finer's rouleau triangle. Since 1929, the Lancia automobile logo has featured a stylized steering wheel within a rouleau triangle shaped shield, as designed by Carlo Biscariti di Ruffia. Another corporate logo framed in the rouleau triangle, the south pointing compass of Bavaria Brewery, was part of a makeover by design company Total Identity that won the SAM 2010 Advertiser of the Year Award. Equals in nature equals, according to Plato's laws. The circular arcs in two-dimensional soap bubble clusters meet at 120 degree angles, the same angle found at the corners of a rouleau triangle. Based on this fact, it is possible to construct clusters in which some of the bubbles take the form of a rouleau triangle. The shape was first isolated in crystal form in 2014 as rouleau triangle discs. Basic bismuth nitrate discs with a rouleau triangle shape were formed from the hydrolysis and precipitation of bismuth nitrate in an ethanol a euro water system in the presence of 2, 3 bis, 2 pyridyl, pyrazine. Generalizations Triangular curves of constant width with smooth rather than sharp corners may be obtained as the locus of points at a fixed distance from the rouleau triangle. Other generalizations of the rouleau triangle include surfaces in three dimensions curves of constant width with more than three sides, and the yan Mauti sets which provide extreme examples of an inequality between width, diameter, and in radius. Equals three-dimensional version equals, the intersection of four spheres of radius s centered at the vertices of a regular tetrahedron with side length s is called the rouleau tetrahedron, but is not a surface of constant width. It can, however, be made into a surface of constant width, 
called Meusnes tetrahedron, by replacing its edge arcs by curved surface patches. Alternatively, the surface of revolution of a Rouleau triangle through one of its symmetry axes forms a surface of constant width, with minimum volume among all known surfaces of revolution of given constant width. Equals Rouleau polygons equals. The Rouleau triangle can be generalized to regular polygons with an odd number of sides, yielding a Rouleau polygon. These are the only shapes of constant width whose boundaries are formed by finitely many circular arcs of equal length. The constant width of these shapes allows their use as coins that can be used in coin-operated machines. The most commonly used of these, beginning in 1969 with the English 50 pence coin, is the Rouleau heptagon, which since then has been used as the approximate shape of several coins, Botswana Pula coins in the denominations of 2 Pula, 1 Pula, 25 Thabi and 5 Thabi. Cypriot 50 cent coin, from 1991 until Cyprus joined the euro in 2008. Jordanian quarter dinar and half dinar coins. Mauritian 10 rupee coin. British 20 pence and 50 pence coins. Differently shaped, but still a rouleau polygon, the Canadian loonie dollar coin has 11 sides. In 2008 and 2009, Canada produced some commemorative 50 cent pieces shaped similarly to a rouleau triangle but with rounded corners. Similar methods can be used to enclose an arbitrary simple polygon within a curve of constant width, whose width equals the diameter of the given polygon. The resulting shape consists of circular arcs, can be constructed algorithmically in linear time, and can be drawn with compass and stretch. Although the regular polygon-based Rouleau polygons all have an odd number of circular arc sides, it is possible to construct constant width shapes based on irregular polygons that have an even number of sides. Equals Yan Mauti sets equals, the Yan Mauti sets are defined as the convex hulls of an equilateral triangle together with three circular arcs, centered at the triangle vertices and spanning the same angle as the triangle, with equal radii that are at most equal to the side length of the triangle. Thus, when the radius is small enough, these sets degenerate to the equilateral triangle itself, but when the radius is as large as possible they equal the corresponding Rouleau triangle. Every shape with width W, diameter D, and in radius R obeys the inequality. And this inequality becomes an equality for the Yan Mauti sets, showing that it cannot be improved. Related figures in the classical presentation of a three-set Venn diagram as three overlapping circles, the central region takes the shape of a Rouleau triangle. The same three circles form one of the standard drawings of the Burramian rings, three mutually linked rings that cannot, however, be realized as geometric circles. Parts of these same circles are used to form the trichotra, a figure of three overlapping semicircles that again has a Rouleau triangle at its center. Just as the three circles of the Venn diagram may be interlaced to form the Burramian rings, the three circular arcs of the trichotra may be interlaced to form a trefoil knot. Relatives of the Rouleau triangle arise in the problem of finding the minimum perimeter shape that encloses a fixed amount of area and includes three specified points in the plane. For a wide range of choices of the area parameter, the optimal solution to this problem will be a curved triangle whose three sides are circular arcs with equal radii. In particular, when the three points are equidistant from each other and the area is that of the Rouleau triangle, the Rouleau triangle is the optimal enclosure. The deltoid curve is another type of curvilinear triangle, but one in which the curves replacing each side of an equilateral triangle are concave rather than convex. It is not composed of circular arcs, but may be formed by rolling one circle within another of three times the radius. Other planar shapes with three curved sides include the arbellos, which is formed from three semicircles with curlinear endpoints, and the bar copyright Zaya triangle. The Rouleau triangle may also be interpreted as the conformal image of a spherical triangle with 120 degree angles. This spherical triangle is one of the Schwartz triangles, triangles bounded by great circle arcs on the surface of a sphere that can tile the sphere by reflection. References External links, Shapes of Constant Width that Cut the Knot, Mold, Steve, Shapes and Solids of Constant Width, Numberphil, Wellstein, Eric W., Rouleau Triangle, Mathworld.